Welcome to Fun Uber Games. So just this week, a man in New Jersey played the um, high card poker game. And the dealer had four, six, seven, ten queen. All different suits. So no flush. High card is queen. The next highest card is a ten. And then down here, the guy scratches off five, six, nine, jack, queen. So he has a high card queen as well. They both share queens. But his next highest card is a jack. The dealer's next highest card is a 10. So he won. Because he beat the dealer. And that's all you have to do is beat the dealer. $150,000, which is the highest amount this game offers. And it even shows 150 k three total prizes, three remaining. And it, the rules in the back explaining the game. So he won, and he was ecstatic. Could you imagine playing scratch-offs all, all your life for years, decades? All this money you spent, and the most you've ever won was 200 bucks or 500 bucks. Then you hit $150,000. But wait, there's more. So it talks about Robert, Ch Robert Chalet had the winning hand in Jersey Hard Card Poker. Okay, the $150,000, it was on August 10th, and he played the $5 ticket to 7-Eleven, located in his town. I couldn't believe I won. I showed a ticket to my cousin. We confirmed it. We checked the website. So he's loving life. He's happy. So he filled a claim form, and he provided it to the New Jersey Lottery Office, and they said... Well, you won, and you didn't win. Because he, he won on the on a scratch-off ticket, but he didn't win because the game has been canceled due to this particular instance. So it, it talks about what the lottery says. Because this was listed on their website, NewJerseyLottery.com. To clarify and, and avoid player confusion, please see the following message from New Jersey Lottery. Effective August 10th, 2017. Which I think is a day before he won, right? Or well, right before he won. <clears throat> the New Jersey Lottery is immediately suspending the sale of high card poker due to potential, the potential for players to, for, to misunderstand the game's win scenarios as stated on the back of tickets. High Card Poker, which went on sale August 7th, should be considered a void game, effective August 10th, according to the lottery rules, regulations. All winning tickets already in circulation will be honored. Retailers may continue to validate tickets they have sold and should follow normal cash procedures for prizes 600 or less and 600 or more. Those should be a claim form. <clears throat> so it seems like He's won because it does say that they should be honored. But but they're saying no. They were not giving him the money. I guess because of this reason, because people think they won, when this is probably... When they, when they made the ticket, they probably messed up and didn't think this was a win. Or, or, the, or, they, or maybe they viewed a win as like... If you have a pair of aces and a deal as a pair of kings, they consider that a win. But not if you both have like the same exact hand, which queen high, maybe they think it's the same exact hand. So they maybe they view that as a tie. But regardless, it is he did win. The rules of poker are pretty clear. Whether the lottery understands the rules of poker or not is a different story. So obviously he's getting a lawyer to contest this and I'll try to do a follow-up video if, if there's another news story that comes out but it could take years to to get a a final decision when you, when you sue somebody so could, could you just imagine how upset you'd be you'd be a million times more upset than you were as happy as you from winning because you get it, you think you won it, and you get it pulled back. 
So what do you guys think? Share in the comments. Please like the video. Thanks for watching.